Hey, hi, hello, here I am, I'm here. Oh, we are doing a next part of the Legion of the Dam Fluff. Mm -hmm. This is The Search for Truth, part four. Another belief whispered amongst the hidden orders of the Adeptus Astartes is that the Legion of the Damned were once a chapter of Space Marines, a force that has been claimed by the fires of the war and reborn into a more sinister form. After all, across the Aperium's long history, Several contingents of space marines have made translation into the Empyrean and emerged changed as a result, or not emerged at all. Prominent amongst these are the Firehawks, a chapter whose history is blighted by disaster. In the year 963.M41, the Firehawks were ordered into the Crow's World subsector to engage a flotilla of Eldar raiders and bring the anarchy that was spreading there to an abrupt end. The scale of the Xenos incursion was such that the entire chapter fleet including the grand flagship they used as their fortress monastery, was dispatched to intercept it. Though the Firehawks fleet made a successful warp jump from the Praces system some 120 light years from their target coordinates, expecting to reach their quarry within half a day, they never translated back into real space. The Crow's World subsector was left to the mercies of its Eldar persecutors. Twenty years after the event, the chapter was officially declared Perditas. The great bell of lost souls tolled a thousand times and a black candle was lit in the Adeptus Chapel of Fallen Heroes upon Terra itself. Yet there are those who believe the Firehawks underwent some strange metamorphosis after their disappearance, maintaining that they became irrevocably changed by the strange tides of the warp both dying and somehow remaining alive. Knowing they could never openly serve the Imperium in their tainted state, they became the Legion of the Damned, fighting on in the Emperor's name from the hell that had become their home. The simplest theory as to the Legion's nature, and therefore perhaps the most credible, is that its warriors are simply ghosts. They are the spiritual echoes of once great Adeptus Astartes, whose hatred for the enemies of the Imperium was so powerful that it transcended mortal limits and became something eternal. If this is true, then the Legionnaires may come from a great many chapters, their insignia and heraldry subsumed by the supernatural rebirth and replaced by icons of doom, so that they, so that they are linked together by their own damnation. The few reports of those who have seen the Legion of the Damned unhelmed speak of ghostly pallor, sunken skin, and hollow eye sockets. Every 
supernatural occurrence, every glitch in reality that is attributed to these mysterious warriors adds credence to this theory. Perhaps those who know of their existence prefer to imagine the spectral space marines as revenants. For that mortal mind could, for what mortal mind could possibly stand a life bound to the hell dimension of the warp and still remain sane? Boom. Next, part five, Martyrs Beyond Death. Bye!